Hi folks, co-tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Welcome to the another video under Kotlin Fundamentals. Let's assume that you have created a class called as student and uh, then you create some other subclasses of this student class like undergraduate, postgraduate and doctorate and all of these classes are basically subclasses of student class. Everything is fine and you think that that's what the standard set of class hierarchy is going to look like. But what may happen is sometime in the future a new developer may join and he may create a, another class called as post doctorate and he may want to declare this particular class as a subclass of student which you might not agree or which you basically want to prevent. Now how to add type safety in terms of class extension. We have already covered type safety in terms of enums in the previous video but this is something more than that. We want to have some kind of a mechanism to prevent people from extending any random classes or making any random class as a subclass of some other class. Well the answer to this particular question is sealed classes. So having understood the concept behind sealed classes, let's try to understand how actually it's done. So let me create a class here called as student. I will create this as a sealed class that is the keyword and then let me create some other classes here class undergraduate student which extends student class. In the same way I can create a couple of more classes. So you can see that a sealed class has been declared and all other classes are defined in the same file. They are not defined in a different file and that is the reason why a sealed class being extended in the same file works without any problem. I try to create another class which extends student class in a different file. Now what I will do is I will create a class post doctorate and that extends the student sealed class and you will observe that we will get immediately a compile time error that is cannot access in it it is a private in student so let's understand what this basically means what it is saying is whatever the constructor that comes inside the sealed class it is private the reason behind is whenever you create a particular class as sealed class the constructor becomes either protected or it is private to that particular class. You cannot access it outside that particular file. So this post doctorate student that we are trying to create cannot be a subclass of student because it is being declared in a, another file. It doesn't matter. It could be another file in a different package. You will once again pretty much get the same error. If I cut this and paste it here, it works perfectly fine. Why? Because it is in the same file. So the whole idea is if you really want to allow a sealed class to be extended, you should be having a access to the source code of the original application uh, so that you can do this. Otherwise, if it was a part of a different library, uh, you cannot create your own class and then try to extend it. I really like how it has been very well thought out properly when they created this concept of sealed classes. So now what happens is this brings in a type safety in the concept of class extension as well. You cannot create any random class and extend a sealed class because sealed class will basically prevent it. And another advantage is uh, when you are working with when statement you don't have to worry about providing the default case. Uh, what do I mean by that is say let's assume that I create a student of type say doctorate and then when me say is doctorate print doctorate and I can write all other possible values. Now after this I don't have to write a else case because it is not really required. These are the only four possible values. That is the advantage of working with the seed classes as well. So it is quite similar to enums but it is an enum in terms of enforcing the class extension. That is the difference between a sealed class and an enum. So I hope you understood the concept of sealed classes. In the next video I will meet you with another new topic in Kotlin. That brings us to the end of this particular video. Don't forget to like, comment, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Bye.